This checkers board changes no less than four times throughout the course of this game. Not only are the formations of the pieces different each time, but the number of black and red pieces changes too. Either somebody's cheating, the wind is really picky on how it's blowing that day, or the storyboarders didn't quite get the memo on consistency. Also, in this shot, the water balloons are situated like this. But then in the next shot where Steven is shown, they're situated like this. <laughs> because I just won the game. The piece that Pearl just used isn't kinged, so it can actually jump backwards here. Pearl, who I'd think knows the rules of the game, just cheated. Here it comes. <laughs> Steven only throws three balloons at Amethyst here when Pearl jumped five of her pieces. Biased much? In this shot, we finally learn that insta-drying means that the water just disappears. I really should have figured that. Is water just hydrogen and oxygen mashed together? Yes. Yes, it is. Steven hasn't even undergone much trauma yet, and he already has the eyes for it. Opal is an amalgam of our combined magical and physical attributes. The music track playing in the background here is a rendition of amalgam. That's a nice little touch that they add while Pearl describes Opal as just that. We only form Opal when it's absolutely necessary. Ah, uh, yes, just like Garnet only fuses when it's absolutely necessary. Or when Pearl and Rose only fuse when it's absolutely necessary. And are you meaning to tell me that a giant fucking eyeball flying down to destroy the city isn't quite necessary enough? Come on, this excuse is flimsy even this far in, and it just falls apart the more you watch the show. Did you bring me anything? Whoa, a rock! Thanks, Garnet! In this shot, when Pearl curls her fingers, they apparently fuse together to the point where only two of them are drawn per hand. Garnet's middle finger goes from colored in to not colored in in this shot. Also, the rock on the ground seemingly disappears in this shot, though it might just be covered up by Garnet's leg here. Eh, I wouldn't put it past the Kruniverse. Also, also... Ugh, God damn it! this again. Look, wiki users, can you please just be a little more specific with these errors? When Pearl and Amethyst were arguing is not helpful. And no, I am not about to stare at Pearl's legs for God knows how long. Just consider this another hypothetical sin. All I wanna do. It's been a bit, but we finally have a nice vocal song that doesn't make my eardrums feel like they're about to split open. Hey, it might sound like an over-exaggeration, but you try listening to the songs in Sirius Steven for a while, and then we'll see how you feel. Amethyst Gem disappears in this shot. Not as easy as this! Ooh. Ooh. Wow, Amethyst! That was a really good idea! <laughs> It's even got a Little Beetle bedroom, and Little Beetle bongos! They're really stretching for that alliteration with those bongos, aren't they? The Heaven Beetle wouldn't leave, would it? It's a beetle. Beetles tend to have this little thing called free will that they use to go wherever they want. And now you're just slouching over here doing nothing! She is standing about as straight as it gets for leaning against the wall. Oh. <gasps> My son! Swallowed my spear! Can't you just summon more? That's kind of your guy's whole shtick. This is unfortunately another case of not letting the full version of this song play. It sounds really good. Take a listen. I get having to cut some of it for time constraints, but they don't even let a quarter of it play, and that's a damn shame. If only they let some of their best songs play more. Apparently, fusing makes Amethyst Gem turn into a hexagon. So you want to try that again? With less hitting me in the face this time? You literally hit her head against the floor. I'd say you did worse. You totally weren't even trying to sync with my dancing. You should know how I dance by now. You know, she does bring up a fantastic point. They've been a team for, what, thousands of years now? And they don't even know how the other person dances? What kind of botched up state is this team in? And why do I feel like this is very closely related to how pretty much everybody seems to rely on Garnet for everything? If you can't get along with each other, I might never get to see your awesome fusion power! I know that's supposed to be a joke, but not only does it land poorly, but they have to botch Steven's character traits to do it. And I might get eaten by a giant bird! Wow, that was mighty convenient. Steven even painstakingly pointed out that it would happen too. I love how Opal is revealed here. It's kept mostly mysterious until they rescue Steven to really sell their ability to get shit done. And the soundtrack is once again A-plus material.
Not to mention the idea of combining the gem's weapons to create something new is a fantastic one, and the weapons they ultimately form are pretty genius too. There's some genuinely great stuff here. Although I also have one big question about this. Is this bird a fusion of gem shards? I mean, the gems really do look like different shards that were shattered and made to form this. And if they are shattered, then why is this never really brought up again? Hell, the wiki has so little info on this thing that they've elected to call it Big Bird, which really says a lot. I think it really would have gone a long way to even have just shown it briefly and keeping it together as some form of this is what this thing really is moment so we could have come to understand it better. But no, it's just... forgotten. It looks like Opal has fucking Skittles in her mouth when she's jumping here. In this frame, Opal just has five arms. You could argue it's a smear frame, but there's no smear or any kind of blur. It just looks like she grows another arm for a second. Throughout this entire scene, the gemstones on the temple door seem to disappear and reappear depending on how far away it's drawn. Which is odd, considering that worst case scenario, you could just draw them as dots or something. When you fuse, do you turn into a giant, giant woman? Or just a regular sized giant woman? Does one of you control the right arm and the other control the left arm? You sure are a lot of stairs. How about you form Opal and give me a piggyback ride? Quick, you have to form Opal. It's the only way to defeat it. Giant woman, 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 giant woman. Giant woman. You should fuse into Opal and then lay across the rocks like a bridge. Now's the perfect time for you two to form Opal. 